Hi, today I'm going to talk about bright lipsticks because the shops are full of them. Fluorescent pinks, really bright oranges and all sorts of crazy colours. So I just want to talk about the best way to wear them. Now, I think that it's better to have as little on the rest of your face as possible. Now, if you're really, really young and you've got amazing skin, you can get away with almost wearing nothing apart from tinted moisturiser. So depending on your age and what you can get away with, I mean, most people need a bit and some people need a lot just to look like they've got no makeup on. Now I've used already foundation, I use the Bourjois Healthy Mix foundation which I really like and I just had a good look at this in daylight through my magnifying times 10 mirror which I always use to look at foundations and it looked really good so I think in daylight this looks very very natural and just like real skin only better which is what we all want. So I've got that all over. Um, I've got a little bit of um, concealer, I haven't concealed everything because I want my skin to look like it hasn't got any foundation on. And I've also used some Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector because I think the other way to make this face look very modern, because obviously the lips are going to be such a focal point, is to make the skin look very dewy and um, luminous and just gorgeous and light. So onto the eyes. Now I think most people need a little bit of eyeshadow just because just because it makes your eyes look better. If you don't, if you're sort of really young and lucky, then just curl your eyelashes, maybe just put a little bit of mascara on. Now, I'm going to use, um, I've got a few lipsticks that I like, but I'm actually going to use a really quite bluish pink, a very bright pink. So I'm going to use a slightly warm colour around the eyes, because I love that sort of the, the contrast really. If I was going to use a really bright orange I might use something a little bit cool around my eyes because I think it just helps the lipstick again to really pop. So I'm going to use this um, L'Oreal Trio which is very very golden and very warm and I'm just going to use that all over the lid, the gold colour, nice and quick, just really to get a wash and this is such a great contrast for the lipstick I'm about to use. Then I'm going to use, in the trio, there's a slightly darker golden brown. I'm just going to shade my socket a little bit, just because I need that personally. And I'm also going to take a mixture of the golden brown and the sort of slightly deeper brown along under my lashes. I don't really want it to look like makeup, but it's just going to give me nice bit of definition. Now with the brows, if you've got really good brows, just give them a brush through. If you need to, then fill them in with a little bit of powder rather than pencil, so they, they stay looking very natural. So I've just put a little bit of powder through my brows, so just to emphasise them a bit. And curl your lashes. very modern not to put mascara on with a bright lip but not many people can pull that look off. If you can, it does look great if you're young and got nice thick eyelashes but most people tend to need mascara and I actually like quite a lot of mascara when I'm using a bright lip and not much eye makeup. I'm just going to use this Armani Eyes to Kill Mascara. So that's the mascara on. The next thing I would do is um, something on the cheeks. I'm actually just going to do a little bit of contour because a very bright lipstick can be quite draining and sort of flatten out your face a little bit. So I'm going to use a MAC 109 and a little bit of Chanel Bronze Universal. Taking most off on the back of my hand. We're going to do this exactly the same way we did in the contouring film, except I haven't got any powder yet. so. I'm using it over the top of the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector and foundation so it's going to blend in nicely. And I don't want the colour, I don't want any bronzer on the cheeks because it's not going to go well with the lip colour. So it's going to be very subtle. It's just a case of shading a fraction. The next thing we'll do is I'll do the lips because I think that you can't really tell how much eye makeup you need or how much blush you're going to need or all the rest of it until the lip colour is actually on because it's amazing how much your skin tone changes and how everything changes once the lip colour's on. So I tend to do very minimum eye makeup and I don't do any blush or anything until the lips are on and then you'll know what you're doing. So the colour I've chosen for today is this Barium Amazing 
uber pink it's so bright it's fabulous um, I'm going to show you a couple of my other favorites there's so many I like that it was really hard to choose even get it down to this is um, this one by Sicily which is super bright coral which I also love I love impassioned by uh, Mac which is almost like a mixture of the previous two and don't they look so gorgeous together um, another one I love in the summer and this is well worn is um, strawberry suede which is by Revlon it's a matte one that's really good in hot weather who could fail to love Snow Orchid by MAC? It has got a bit of pearl in, but it's got a sort of neon-y psycho pearl, like a, a blue pearl in it, and that just looks amazing as well. Um, and then Neon Orange, of course, by MAC is a classic and is gorgeous. There are the new Lime Crime ones, which actually aren't as bright as these because they have a lot more white pigment in them, so you can see they sort of look almost pastel next to these ones, but these do look really bright on the lips because anything that has white pigment in it almost stands away from... Uh, it, it's so artificial to have something on your face that has pure white pigment in that they kind of jump out really well as well. So there's just a few of my favourites. Because the lips are going to be... everyone's going to be looking at these lips, I'm just going to do a little bit of exfoliation. Tiny bit of Vaseline or lip balm onto a dry cotton wool and lots of twisting and pushing. It's pushing the lip balm into the lips and it's because I'm twisting so much, I'm pressing quite hard. It's taking all the loose bits off. Okay, so onto the colour. So I'm going to use this uber bright pink. Now, the colour that you choose, it really is, there's no major rules about the colours you choose. If you're really drawn to a colour, you love it, go for it. The only thing I'd say was a sort of a guide, if you like, is that if you are, for example, I've got a lot of yellow in my skin. I do have some pink as well, but I'm choosing a bluey base pink. So this is really going to pop. If I wanted something that sat more with my skin colour, I'd probably use the warmer shades because my skin is naturally warm. So I'm just going to follow the natural line of my lips. Oh, this colour is amazing. Just shows you don't have to spend a lot of money to get a good colour payoff. I'm going to use a little bit of correction because I'm not going to use a pencil. I don't think you should use a pencil really if you can get away with it unless you've got one exactly the same colour and they're quite hard to find and also you need to blend it in well. I'm just going to even up my lips with the last little bit that's left on this brush which isn't very much. And then I'm just going to put the last little bit on. Now this is the time to really look at the rest of your makeup because once the lips are on you can see if you need any more on the eyes. If you really do, I think I'm going to be okay, but just add a little bit of pencil, something along the roots, the lashes that give you more definition but don't register as a lot of makeup. And if you find that it's really draining you, I think this is quite good on me, but the other thing you can do is just pat onto your lips, you've got hardly any on your fingers, and just introduce a tiny bit of that colour just there but you, you only need a tiny fraction just to tie that in and then to finish off I'm going to use MAC Skin Finish Powder and I'm not going to use too much just down the centre of my face I don't want to destroy the, the dewiness I've got so I think that's the most modern way to wear really really bright lip colour Really think about how much you're putting on the rest of the face and keep it to the minimum. Obviously you're using makeup, but not to look like a lot of makeup. You know, don't do a big eye look or lots of fake lashes and blusher because it just becomes very, very old fashioned and too much. So um, yeah, keep the skin looking really fresh. Use some kind of a highlighter, always looks nice, a little bit of shader. Um, the eye color looking pretty, but not overdone. Same with the, with the lashes, that all the focus is on the lips and make sure that the edge isn't hard. So you're patting in a small amount of product, keeping it quite um, soft at the edges. And also, you don't need tons and tons and tons because it's the colour that really speaks for itself. I mean, this is a very cheap lipstick. It's not expensive and you can see you can get great, great payoff. So it's all about the colour, so wear it well. Thanks for watching.